Hi everybody, Patrick here from Engineering Shock Electronics, uh, www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, these videos uh, are kind of just for fun, just so I can document projects that I'm uh, working on uh, with my new Mojo FPGA board. Um, and if anyone wants the code, uh, leave a comment and I'll see if I can make that available at engineeringshock.com. I do that typically for my Kickstarter campaigns where I have to leave code samples for people. Uh, in any case, this one is very simple. Um, in the tutorial book that I'm I'm looking at, uh, there's a debounce circuit and or a debounce program in Verilog, and I I looked it over a hundred times. I understand it and I hated it. Uh, I didn't like the way that the instructor had written it. Now I'm not saying I know better because I am a noob at Verilog, but I didn't like the way that they did it. So I wrote my own, um, and uh, uh, this LED right here on the Mojo mimics the state of the switch. Currently it's low. Uh, it's, it, there's no voltage on the input, and uh, it's the debounced state I should mean. So if I don't have a debouncer and I switch this on, in a matter of a couple microseconds, you'll see some switch bounce, and the uh, FPGA will see that as a whole bunch of zeros and ones, and it will it won't be a simple on off. It will be many on offs. And since this is working at 50 megahertz, this uh, board, I had to write a debounce program. So the idea is press the button and the, the uh, unit waits about uh, about one-tenth of a second before turning the LED on so it eliminates the bounce when I press the button and then when I let go uh, the LED turns off after another hundred milliseconds so the the, the falling edge is also uh, debounced and there's also a 4-bit counter on the left four LEDs so uh, we've got it's going to count every time we press the button And that shows us that the signal is properly debounced. So I'll press once more and it will reset. So I'm going to stop the video and I'll give you a closer look at the LEDs. So the LEDs are right in the front. Again, the rightmost LED uh, shows the state of the switch, the debounced state of the switch. And the left uh, four are uh, the uh, bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, and bit 3 of our 4-bit counter. So every time I press the button, it starts counting in binary. And that's the, when it, after uh, the counter is full, one more press will reset it back to the zero state. So yeah, I mean, this is a very simple project. Um, I'm trying to learn Verilog uh, at a casual rate because this is, uh, you know, electronics isn't just my business. It's my hobby as well. Um, and so I haven't played with FP FPGAs since school and uh, I wanted to get back into it. And I've never really worked with Verilog before. And um, I know that system Verilog is... Um, most commonly used in the industry these days and I'll probably move the, in that route but I'm going to learn this at my own pace whenever I have time and this is a very simple project um, debouncing a switch is one of the most simple things to do especially when you're talking about Arduino when you have Arduino or you have uh, uh, or you're working with uh, pick microcontrollers I like working with both um, debouncing is easy it's a very very simple piece of code for this it's a tiny bit more complicated but after you you know it's just a matter of creating uh, a couple timers and uh, loading certain registers with certain values. It's not really a big deal. So if you want to see the code, um, subscribe to the channel. Check us out at engineeringshock.com. Leave a comment. Uh, I'm going to continue making these videos. We'll see what kind of reception there is. Uh, if there is uh, an actual need for the code, um, I'll, I will see what I can do to provide it. Uh, I will admit in advance that I am not, <laughs> I, again, not an expert Verilog programmer. I'm a beginner. So I just wanted to share. Thank you both. Thank you all for your time. I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video.